Hello. How's it going? What you it's doing? It's going. So are we, are we running really behind on this because we, yes. we were kicked out of here for a week because of the hurricane? Yes, the one week did put us pretty far behind. Is there a method to your madness of putting this down? Like, do you have to do it in a certain order? Yeah, the more you put in, the, the stronger it gets. So the more of this array that is complete, uh -huh. the stronger the array becomes, the more that the repulling force of you trying to put that last magnet in is going to be strong. That's going to be the hard one. Yes. Yeah, that very last one will be the hardest one. So we're going to need everyone to come together, make like a power circle, and yes. then someone's just going to drop it in. What was that show? They all had their rings, and if they like put them together, they like turned into something. It's Power Rangers. Is that Power Rangers? Captain was, I'm Planet. Sure it was like a few shows. I Captain had to turn to, turn to the nerds. Hi. Don't do that. That's he scared so him. Well, you startled me. Yeah. You didn't scare anyone. You startled me. Well, how far are you guys behind because of the hurricane? Uh, we are really behind. You know, um, we're racing against the clock. Mm. All right. Well, good oh, luck with everything. Oh, no pressure, but you're a week behind. Okay, goodbye. Good luck. <sighs> This, we're gonna have to attach it somehow. It's gonna look like this. Yeah, I mean, we can print out a cap like that right now. That's no problem, I already have that done. They're actually gonna be, um, I thought, yeah, like, glued have to together. Mm -hmm. The way we're gonna figure out if they work is basically the design of the motor. It has to correlate with what we already have, or if it doesn't, and it's the motor we need, then we need to circumvent around that. Let's do a test. I'm gonna do a spinning because okay. that's gonna be awesome to test Ready? on. Mm -hmm. Be in the face of danger. Got to do it. Oh, came out. It's too heavy for that. Let it. Let, yeah, let it spin and then turn it. Okay, yeah. go. It's like it's not getting enough. Looks power. like it's already kind of going off. See, it's it's it's, not it's really heavy. Test yeah. the motor first. No. These are really strong motors. Yeah, but I think it's just this tape because this really made that heavy. And I think it's just I mean, can't get over that weight. This one is a lot better. Can you give it a spin? Yeah. Woohoo! I'm so it's terrified so of this. so much vibration in my hand. Bring it down. Here, come closer to me. Oh, Whoa, dude. Stop, 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 stop. stop, stop, stop. That was a magnet, that was a magnet. I magnet almost just died. Literally just... Blue. Did you see how close that was to my head? I don't think it's safe, guys. Like, All right, we should yeah, let's it. turn it off. The plate, it's okay. It didn't go through. It just, we need, it needs to be It needs to be glued. More, yeah, it needs to be pretty much cemented it in came out, because it's breaking through everything. It didn't go through. It came out the side. Oh, wow. They fell out of their slots. That's why that one, oh, long, that one take you to they glue pushed them. out because we were giving it, so they were pushing up, and then they pushed through, and then that's how they flipped out. So one just finally found its way out. Wait, who showed me? Who showed me? You showed me? Baking powder and super glue. Yeah, use super glue first to have it on place and then add epoxy on top oh. of it. So oh, no, no, no. There's a super glue first, yeah. then uh, baking soda. So basically, uh, we've been running the printer so much that it's not calibrated anymore, and I think the voltage might be jumping. And so when we try to print another disc, there's a jump in the step, and it makes the disc come out looking like a bad pancake. Did you start, did you make a model? I didn't really actually finesse it because I didn't know the sizes of anything, but I kind of got like, I got an idea for how to keep it together. And a lot of that I don't think we need a 3D printer for. So like here, we'd put a board over top that, but it would just lock in, there'd be the two bars, and then all the electronics what would are the bars on top for? there. That's gonna be what connects it to the board. Okay. So uh, the motors we got are not strong enough. They don't have enough torque, and we're trying to find a motor that can get to the max rotational speed that we need. And we're just trying to see if uh, other people have had the same issues and learn from that. Yeah, so this was sitting in my apartment right. during the hurricane. And every so often, my girlfriend would come out and she'd be like, something's snapping. And I was like, well, there's no tree snapping right now. It was the magnets. The magnets were actually flying out of their set holds and uh, they would click and they would snap to another magnet. So yeah, that wasn't a very fun experience for my girlfriend uh, during a hurricane. Our glue. 
It's a lot of glue. <laughs> One glue. Two glue. Oh, yeah. Anyone got like a anti-adhesive ready? It's already here, look for that. I'm not it's gonna dry. feel this. No, it's dry. Brings me back to my lifeguarding days. <laughs> what part? You'd be surprised. So I haven't found a motor yet because I don't know the specifications. The higher the RPM, the less torque you're gonna have. You're compromising one for the other. And so you have to find a balance where you have enough torque to get it going, and then you have enough rotational velocity to keep it you know, at that speed. Right now, the issue is knowing which one to buy within specifications. If we don't get the motor, we're not gonna have uh, a board. So we should be getting the motors in today. I have no clue what are the specifications on them. They should vary on voltage, amperage, and torque. And we're gonna test them and see which ones are gonna be the best and gonna hope for the best. All right, you guys ready? All right, three, two, one. What's that, what? <laughs> that anticlimactic moment <laughs> yeah. when nothing happens? Yeah, that just happened. You're killing it, man. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> okay. it's, it's slow. It's too slow. Yeah, it's too, too slow. slow. Yeah. It's definitely slowing it down though. Yeah, you can hear it. It's not at all. We have determined that these motors are not fast enough and they got enough torque. This is not fast enough. Two, none of the other motors that we have are going to work for us because they're not big enough and they don't have enough power. So we're back to square one. All right, I got the discs. All right. I don't know why what? there are so many. Probably, probably we because need <laughs> six. Yeah, um, these... I don't think the, the magnets are gonna fit in this one. As our 3D printers are down, we needed two more of these discs. So we sent them off to a company to have them printed for us, we found the holes are too small for the magnets to fit in. Well, let's go get a magnet, that's a big thing. How don't are these fit holes? in this one. This that one won't work. Don't fit in this one. Two out of eight of the discs work. Apparently we can't use this person to print our discs. How many discs do we have with magnets in it? Three. And they're, are they good to use? No. Let me, why not? So they if one breaks, in let's think about like the worst case scenario <laughs> if another one breaks though. What's the worst that could happen? Somebody gets hurt? Well, yeah. Somebody gets hurt, but <laughs> other than that. Do you need another reason? We, at this point, cannot test tonight safely. It's just not gonna happen. This is the only one that is working and safe. This one? Yes, this what one. What about this one? That one's 10%. I'm sorry, but 10% is, to me, is okay. The integrity of a print doesn't matter on the infill, it matters on the pattern that's inside of it. So this one has a grid pattern. Both of these have grid patterns. Like you can take a, a 3D print and put 0% infill and try to break it. It's really hard. But what I'm saying is, um, actually this one's it's cracked. I just saw it, it's cracked. It's cracked, what the heck dude? Like, I'm telling you. Where did, where You're did that come from? What the heck dude, like why? We don't have any discs. No way. Hey guys, I have a special guest. It's the Hacksman. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and click on that little bell below so you get a notification when the next video is ready. We'll see you next time.